What's up everyone, Peru here, and today we're finishing the week of the Las Vegas Challenger. After my great escape in the second round where I saved five match points, I am now one win away from entering the top 300 for the first time in my career. To do so, I have to beat this year's French Open junior champion and soon to be a Bruin, Kaylin Bigoon in the quarterfinals. And if I do, I will also have another shot at my first Challenger final. Let's see what happens. Welcome back to Turning Pro F30. It's Groundhog Day. Are you expecting something? Yeah. I feel like I just played. <laughs> Freaking unbelievable. They put me first on after that. Well, let's go. Let me do it again. One more day. Three more days. Okay, you can eat now. <laughs> Alright guys, let's watch some of these highlights here together. It's not the full match. I apologize for the quality because it's not very good. It's from the live stream, but it is what it is. We'll be able to tell the story. Let's go. So again, a little tricky. I had a tough match the day before. They put me first on, so I had about like 14 hours to recover and be on court again. Uh, I played Kalen before, we actually had a, a battle in Calabasas. I started off well, started off at the break. Um, starting to hit the ball a little bit better here. Um, just moving well around the core, all that. But Kalen's a big hitter, as you can see. He can just like, you know, hit some, some winners from anywhere on the core. Immediately gave that break back, which is never a good thing. Oh, that was a good one. Look at that slide. We're sliding around the court. Fit for tennis right there, boys. Sliding. Movement. Movement. So important. Um, I was feeling really good in Vegas with my movement. The returns here. That's some good points. Tough shot by him. We got a couple couple service holds here. Nothing crazy. Again, feeling like I'm moving well around the court. Using some slices. The winner there. Uh, silly backed up to try to make it and you just miss. I think after that, after that mistake on, on breakpoint, I was like, you know what? We're staying on top of the baseline for returns. Um, starting getting more success by doing that. Get another break. Just putting pressure on second serves. Um, you know, when you're returning well, Putting pressure on the second serves, it puts pressure on the first serve, right? They need to they feel like they need to make more first serves. He's managing the pace of his shots. A lot of pace in his shots. Good play by him. Okay, I think by now I'm I'm pretty comfortable here on, on the, the exchanges. I'm kind of Taking control, especially off his, uh, off the returns, you know, and you're feeling like you're making a lot of returns and, and getting into good positions returning. Um, it's a game changer at this level. Um, I think a big differentiator in pro tennis is returning. Um, everyone has gotten a lot better at returning in general. We're just feeling like you can put pressure on their serves as well. All right, nice straightforward 6-2. Uh, we'll take that. Again, putting pressure on second serves, moving well around the court. Okay, let him, he can rip it. He can rip, hit the ball real big. Um, 
beginning of second set is always important, you know, you, you, especially when at this level a challenger is very rare that you're going to win like a 6-2 or 6-1. You always got to be ready for, um, you know, guy is going to raise his level, match is going to get a little tougher and cheap, chippier. So, um, you know, especially early in a second set, you don't want to like give anything away uh, if you feel like you're have a good grip on the match, you know. Good, good. Moving around the core. I'm sorry for the, the quality here. If I was filming it, it would be a lot better, but get ourselves a break in the second set here. Yeah, moving well around the court. A lot of good co court coverage from me here. So. I missed, but it's okay. It's okay. See, love 30. Well, 40. Not in here. Oh, wow. Oh, all right, break back. Oh, it's tough. It's all right, we regroup. Good job by him. Here he starts getting a little bit hot, I remember. He starts like hitting some more winners. You know, that's where you kind of have to stop the bleeding at some point. Some good replays. Look at that. All right, good. First couple of points in the service game, always like so important. That's it looked out. Some firepower. We'll find ourselves there, 30 40. I don't remember what happened. Call there, but like also stayed solid in the point uh, on break point. So nice, all right. Good hold. That was a very critical hold there. Ace. You have to be a winner sometimes, just you know, see what they can do with it. Let's go break again. Let's see if I don't play like an idiot. Up a break. Oh, oh. Let's, go. Oh, let's go. Foot speed. Exhibit A with the finishing two hand backhand. But had to weather some attacking forehand. Oh, let's go. It's important. Important hold there. No, you can't give anything away, especially a like. 1540, that can get back to deuce like so quick. Let's 
just getting big firepower. He just don't want to. You don't want to leave anything like in the middle of the court sitting. Ends up. I end up coming back. Double, double false there at the end, and um, I get the win. So in the end, and it's Carousel. And that win actually put me on the top 300 in the world for the first time. Really proud of this achievement. I've never had a two in front of my ranking. And we've been doing this together here on the channel, so it's pretty awesome. But we need to take just a quick break. We'll get back to the video in a second. To thank Improve for making all of this happen. But none of this would have happened without the support of Improve. They've been the ones helping me stay out there on the tour. It's very financially uh, demanding to play a full schedule of tennis. And without them, this wouldn't be happening. So if you want to help me continue to play professional tennis, the best way to do so is by joining the My Tennis HQ school on the Improve app. Improve is a new way to learn online. There's so much content out there. What's good, what's not good is always hard to know. All the information you get at the My Tennis HQ school is vetted by me. It's all content that I think um, it's helpful. My content, other creators' content, it's really awesome. And the app's algorithm also caters towards your game's priority. So if you're someone who needs more footwork content, you're going to be getting more footwork content. If you're someone who needs to improve your mental game or your forehand, that's the content you're going to get. We just really want to filter out the noise, uh, make sure you're getting information that is helpful. So go check out the My Tennis HQ school on the Improve app. Again, none of this would be happening without them. I really appreciate their support. And again, the best way to support my career and turning pro at 30 is by joining the school. I'll leave a link in the description. Go download it now. Thank you, Improve, my friend Clay Thompson, for the support. And let's go back to the video. And after the match in the semifinals, I played Tristan Boyer. It was another epic match. I ended up losing 7-6 in the third. I'd love to watch it with you guys, but for the sake of time, I wouldn't, I won't be able to do it in this video. The tour just keeps going. There's no time to watch all the matches. I was actually two points away from making the finals. It was a close call, just didn't play that great in the final set tiebreaker there. If you guys want to watch it, I would think it's on Challenger TV or I'm sure it's somewhere on YouTube. So go check that out. But to end this video, here are some of my post-match final thoughts. <laughs> Should have started that. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, the weekend in Vegas has come to an end with another classic. Um, I wasn't able to pull off another great escape. Just a classic tennis match today, ups and downs. and you know, momentum swings and playing really good sometimes and bad sometimes and, by, you know, he was doing the same as well. You know, I I fought my way back in that third set and, and had some chances at the end. I think I got robbed a little bit in, in a couple calls. Uh, what not you say, honey? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, you know, some some bad timing on certain calls. Felt unbelievable on the court and physically. Uh, and that was the goal, you know, this last three weeks, just really nailing the, the fitness. The level was good. I thought, you know, I served well, I returned well. Um, could have been playing a little bit better from the back, but again, not great conditions here. Not easy to play. Tough, tough. Sometimes it's tough. You got to play, you know, 2v1. You know, honey? You know, it's just... You know, just a, it's maybe a bit too much coaching sometimes on, on, on the tour now, since co coaching is allowed. I don't know. I, I have my thoughts on that. Maybe we'll talk about that on a live stream at some point. Hell of a week. My first uh, semifinals on hardcore and got real, got two points away there from from a final. So couldn't have gotten any closer. Um, unfortunately, kind of shut the bed there at that double fall in the, in the four three. But again, it's it's a difficult sport that way. That's just what we deal with. We keep going. I mean, some some good results are coming. Physically, I'm great. And now it's time to get home for our children because uh, we miss the children, the dogs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.